So, you know how most of us have been pissed off at Rockstar in light of recent events with Red Dead Online? Well, you may or may have not known this, but while we are distracted with Red Dead Online issues, Rockstar took it upon themselves to sneak in a patch that downgraded the graphics of Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode. Yay! More shit to add to the shit list. Hello everyone, I am Zumi Fiasco. welcome back to another video. To you new visitors, big ups for tuning in, and again, welcome. Today we are going to be taking a closer look at the recent visual downgrades of Red Dead Redemption 2's graphics. This is kind of alarming considering that the graphics have been one of the game's biggest strengths since launch. The game's overall beauty is indisputable. So to start, according to reports from multiple gamers in dedicated Red Dead Redemption communities, Rockstar has seemingly removed ambient occlusion in a visual downgrade. Now, the sketchy thing here is that this was not disclosed in the most recent patch notes from Rockstar. They didn't mention it anywhere. The news originally came from Twitter user Dereal Bandicoot, who shared side-by-side -side screenshots of version 1.00 and version 1.06 within the Valentine bar during what appears to be some time in the evening. Here are the screenshots side by side. Now, there's a good chance you will need to blow these images up to notice the difference right away. I will be linking them in the description if you would like to do so, but you will need to do this especially if you are a newcomer to ambient occlusion. To explain simply, ambient occlusion is a game rendering realistic lighting based on the actual geometry in the room or area. If a lighting source would be blocked, we wouldn't expect to see every inch of nooks and crannies alongside shadows or highlights. So in a nutshell, just think lighting and how the objects around it would affect it realistically. So on the left we have version 1.0, and on the right we have version 1.06. Several things pop up in this comparison photo you may not be able to see right away, but if you watch as I switch back and forth between the two screenshots independently, you can spot several differences. For example, pay attention to the detail in Arthur's jacket. You can see that it is more illuminated and has far less shadow on the image that was taken with the update 1.06. Shadows under the bar aren't nearly as dark, and for the most part, the entire image is a bit brighter, causing it to look more washed out. Which one do you like more? 1.00 or 1.06? As I mentioned earlier, it doesn't appear that the latest update mentions anything about removing or altering the lighting of the game, let alone a full removal of ambient occlusion. In fact, lighting isn't mentioned at all outside of small changes and texture issues, so why would Rockstar hide this from us? Some people are saying that the screenshots don't represent a visual downgrade and that they are only different due to time of day or different weather. On the other hand, it isn't totally uncommon to see assets shift in updates as games are further optimized, either intentionally or unintentionally. However, if this is real and not just unfortunate side-by-side -side screenshot grabs, it is a shame. No one likes a downgrade, especially when it comes to graphics. If you really want to enjoy the game as it was originally launched, you would simply need to uninstall the game and reinstall without an internet connection and without patches. This would mean no Red Dead Online as a result, at least until you decided to update again. Speaking of Red Dead Online, let's talk a little bit about some speculation that has surfaced when it comes to upcoming DLC. Apparently from what has been found by data miners following the release of Red Dead 2, it appears Rockstar have plenty of ideas in the works. New property buying options are expected to be added to the game in the coming months, alongside other features found in GTA Online. A new layer of money making options will also be announced, however little has been shared on this subject yet. New vehicles are expected to be made available to fans who have the cash to buy them with a war wagon that was leaked last year. That's about it though. I figured the rumored DLC was worth mentioning since I have been so toxic lately. I can't help it though because Red Dead Online is just nearly dead to me. I seriously hope we get something in the coming weeks, not months. I don't want to be stuck waiting half a damn year before the game picks up again. Speaking of waiting, if you're anything like me, you're getting impatient. Or hell, you may already be over Red Dead Online and you may have moved on to bigger and better things when it comes to gaming for the time being. With that said, are there any games you would like to see me do some coverage on here on the channel? I feel that Red Dead Online is pretty stale and the more I do videos on it, the more angry I get at it and I think I am ready for another game. Any suggestions are more than welcome, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to take time to read them all like I always do so that I can see what you all have in mind. At this point I'm up for just about anything so don't be shy, leave a comment down below. Anyway guys, that is it for today's video, I apologize that it was a little bit shorter than usual, but if you did enjoy it, please be sure and leave a fat like reading down below, every bit of support goes a long way. Also, if you are a new visitor or a returning one, consider subscribing and turning notifications on so you don't miss out on any future uploads. You can expect a video from me every Friday.
I hope to see you all in the next one. Later.